Now we are back. This is MrTelefero.com. I am here with an artist on the come up. He's on the rise. He's putting out music. I just seen him and his brother. His brother, you might have heard of him as, as well. That will be Kevin Gates, his brother. I'm here with Brez Winter Kane. How you doing today, man? Man, you know, I'm cooler, man. Now we, we wanna we wanna get into how this all started, this Breadwinners Association you guys are both a part of. How did this start? Well, you know, it started from Kevin Gates, you know, my brother. Mm-hmm. Started from the mud, got everything and he just figured out the uh the music industry on himself. He took it upon himself to start BWA. That's us as a family. Now Not you as a shirt, as as a family now. Now you actually started out as a producer, correct? Before you in the rap. Yeah, I started out with Zaytoven, you know, Zaytown USA. Mm-hmm. Uh, producer artists is of my own, which is up on the artillery south. But you know, my brother as being, you know, a breadwinner. That's how I began with, with Gates. You know what I mean? Booby Black, Menace, you know, B One Thousand, the DJ, Percy Keith. You know what I'm saying? So I guess what what is the motivation and ambition to to go to rap when you are, you're doing your thing producing and you also have a brother who's succeeding at rap? Why even step into the rap world? Man, you know, um, I always had my own little artists doing my own little thing. Mm-hmm. You know, he just kept telling me, man, you got it, man. You, you know what I'm saying they gonna like you. Mm-hmm. Just try it out. So you know, I took it upon myself to try it out. You know, and uh, build a fan base just mm-hmm. off of that. Just just trying it. You know. If you believe, you can achieve. Now, now Kevin's from Louisiana, but I understand you're not even from Louisiana. Could you give me a little bit more about where you're actually from? Well, you know, I'm a family from Ohio, and we moved down to Alabama, you know what I'm saying? And I've been residing in um, Atlanta right now. And you you, you, you you, linked up, you and Kevin, y'all relationship, were y'all together as kids, or it's kind of like, how was that? It's kind of like a distant relationship, uh-huh. but, you know, we, we took it upon ourselves to see we distant brothers, and, you know what I'm saying? You know how it is with people. We, we, we get along we get along real great with each other, man. It's just a blessing to know that you got a brother from another mother out there that's opening arms and helping black people out. That's what it's about, black people helping each other out. We're gonna leave Kevin Gates alone, but we're gonna end with this. How how is that? Cause he he's he's kind of a bit on the on the motivational side of the the speech giving side. How is it being a brother, and what's y'all relationship like on a personal level? Well, you know, he always preaching to me and telling me how to better myself, and as in the music industry and as a person, you know, he's a loving person, love all his fans and people in general. So, I mean, it's it's it's, it's just different, man. You know, the way people think. I. I I wouldn't dive in the crowd and, mm-hmm. and hug everybody and everything. So, I mean, you know, to each his own, man. I think he's a very intelligent person. Mm-hmm. Now back to you. And can you tell us a little bit about the music you have upcoming? Where can we find your music, everything? Okay, you can find me on SoundCloud, Breadwinner Kane. I got upcoming music with um, Six Trade Masterpiece, mm-hmm. Juvenile, you know, um, a lot of the talent, talent of Mac, you know, uh, 100 Gang, Draco, mm-hmm. Mozzie, shout out to Flocka, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like produced by Zaytoven, uh-huh. you know. I mean, it, it go on, man. I got, I got tracks with um coming up with Young Fresh, a mm-hmm. couple people. Now, how did this link with Zaytoven come about? Because you said you keep mentioning man. his name. Zaytoven, like, boy, that's day one. My brother, like, when Gucci Man came out, was so icy, so. Zaytoven been there with me from day one, like, mm-hmm. and he told me I should rap, so I got to salute Zaytoven for having my back with this whole thing. Finesse the movie coming soon. Homicide Watch out right now on DVD, so y'all check that out. Villain TV, you know. You spoke about doing a track with Juvenile. How did that link come about, and what can Man, we expect? Juve, Juve, like my big brother, too. I salute the Juve, Rich Gang, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, I just been on the road with different artists all this time. I was a promoter, like I said. Mm-hmm. Throwing parties, having my own different um, music industry business and places in it. I don't know. We just linked up like that, man. Mm-hmm. He said I had it too. Salute to Juve. Juve said I had it. He was like, man, I'm telling you, can you can do it. Woo, woo, woo. So, I mean, man, we got we got a hard track coming out. Pot of gold, man. Be looking for that. You feel any pressure to put out some music and kind of get the the music, get in the music game with Kevin Gates being so hot as he is right now? Man, it's a lot of pressure behind that. You know, trying to become a rapper, but it's all about the truth. Mm-hmm. Everything gay say, everything we saying, it's like real. It's from the mud. It's, it's like everybody everywhere got a ghetto. Everybody's a part of. Mm-hmm. You know, 
You know, just like uh, Mike Brown, we was just there. We mm-hmm. was just there, did that. And, and it's just like, man, you know, it, it, everybody got a ghetto. Everybody got it in a white, black, no matter what you what you is, what's your mm-hmm. nationality. But it, it's just real out here, you know? And it's taking a big step of doing something mm-hmm. that you never did before. Now, let's let's stay there with the Mike Brown situation. We're not going to go too in-depth with it. Oh, okay. But, but, but speaking on that, and he was obviously gunned down and obviously was unarmed. What is that like with a rapper? Because, you know, you have a lot of rappers that talk about violence and, you know, accept violence in their music, but then we have rappers trying to make songs like Don't Shoot. Is that kind of contradicting, you, do you think? No, man, because, you know, we, we really, as us, as like me and you say here, we really don't want no trouble. Mm-hmm. We don't really want trouble with nobody. So mm-hmm. it's like it's a stop the violence thing with the rappers. I think it's a great thing for them to say that because that's stopping the violence amongst us. Mm-hmm. You know, as rappers getting along as amongst, like, again, back to Kevin Gates, getting in the crowd, interacting with people, mm-hmm. you know, hugging people, kissing people, whatever it takes. It's love. It's real love coming from it. So I think everybody should put the guns on the police officers, too. They got families. They should think about their families. I was a kid, an innocent kid, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know the whole situation or nothing like that, but I just think it's like stop the violence and take all that, mm-hmm. you know. You spoke about the going in the crowd thing and getting to know the fans. That's kind of dangerous, though, don't you think? That's, that's kinda, real. That's real dangerous, you know. <laughs> people you don't know, cities you don't know, y'all in town just for the man, night. Man, that's crazy, man. You know, that's what I love about Kevin. Though, that's what I love about my brother, and now I'm there right there with him. You know, and you know that's how we rocking. That's what it is. BWA, we different. I think the thing about you and Kevin and Breadwinners Association in general. People know your story is real. Like you have a lot of people, and they really don't believe in the story that they're, there's rappers that they're portraying. But I think that the biggest thing with you guys is they, they really believe y'all story. And they know that it's real and it's genuine. When it comes across as real. What you got to say about that? Man, I mean, all they got to do is come walk around and where we're from mm-hmm. and take a look at where we where we grew up from. Like, you know, I I used to think I was balling when we used to have paper uh, plates and plastic forks you know mm-hmm. some people had silver spoons but you know you got to walk around and see your environment and I always respect people you know what I'm saying as a person now we're gonna end the interview on a on a lighter note now now, now Kevin does the own guitar does Brad when can have a, a signature is it I don't get tired oh, what is it? I don't get tired I just don't get tired you know what I'm saying I ain't gonna go into to the to the rest of what Gates do, the, the eating booty, but <laughs> I don't get tired. You know, bread when it came, that's all I do. I just. Oh, look, now, I was going to end the interview, but but you brought up something that I just can't resist. And I kind of wanted to get away from Kevin, but I cannot resist this talk, This topic. Oh, man, what's happening? Kevin Gates talks about a lot how he sexually pleases his women. Oh, yeah, um, man. What if you if you being brother and you obviously seeing this in the Instagram that has just it's blew up Instagram and Twitter with this you know everybody's posting the videos and everything and yeah. he just off one little interview what as as brother what do you think about all this? Well, you know, I sat back and think about it. If you sat back and think about it, you got to please your woman. That's some <laughs> real shit. You got to please your lady, your wife. You know, so I mean, that's just some real shit. A nigga, real nigga, gonna say you're real nigga, eat booty because you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Chris Brown, salute to Chris Brown. Yeah. He even admitted it too, so that's what it is. A weird, awkward way to end the interview, but Brad, when it came, I appreciate you so much. Could you tell us that Twitter and Instagram handle so we can have it? You know, that IG is one K A N E B W A, and that Twitter is A R T I L L E R Y. S O U F. When can we expect that new music again? Uh, we got Soldier Slim drop right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, salute to Miss River City and uh, Mr. Diamond promo and uh, Hip Hop Weekly, mm-hmm. Dirty South Hip Hop. You know what I mean? All of them. So it, it's dropping real soon. My mixtape should be coming out like um, end of September or something. So hosted by Kevin Gates. You know what I mean? So that's what it is. Be on on that lookout for that new music from Breadwinners Association and Breadwinner Kane. I thank you for doing the interview with me. Salute, man. It's Breadwinner Kane. It's Mr. Telefero dot com. Yeah, man. It's Breadwinner Kane checking in with Mr. Telefero. You know what it is, man. BWA. I don't get tired.